Hi guys this is Webb's lesson video tutorial on Laravel framework and in this part we will learn how can we use Google Chart API in Laravel and make dynamic pie chart from data fetch from MySQL database. Currently Google has provided us several API like Map, Chart and Analytics for web development and in this there are many web developers has used Google Chart API for integrate chart in their web application. By using Google Chart we can describe data in graphical problem, so anyone can understand data with good graphical way. So. In this tutorial we will make dynamic chart in Laravel by using Google Chart API. We will see how to generate a pie chart in Laravel using Google Chart. So we will integrate Google Chart in Laravel. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have one employee table and in this table we have already inserted some data. Now we want to display percentage of male and female employee data on pie chart. This is our Laravel working folder. So, first we want to make database connection so we have go to config folder and open database.php file and under this file we have defined database credential After this we have open.env file from here and in this file also we have defined database credential like host name, username, password, and database name. After making database connection, now we want to make one controller, so we have go to command prompt and write command like php artisan make double colon controller with name like laravel google graph controller and press enter this command will create laravel google graph controller which we can find under app slash http slash controller folder so we have opened this file under this controller first we have write use statement with database class object. By using this statement we can use this class for database operation. Under this controller we have make one index method. This is the root method of this class. So when we have called this dynamic PDF class then it will execute this index method. Under this method we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class with table method and under this we have write employee table. After this we have add select method and under this method we have write database class with raw method and under this method we have write gender as gender. By using select method we can select particular table column which we have select by using this raw method of database class. Same way we have again add database class with raw method and under this we have write count function star as number, it will return number of total records. So here we have select two table column like gender and number of total row. After this we have add group by method and under this method we have write gender. This method will add group by clause with gender table column. So here our query is ready. Lastly we have add get method. This method will execute query and return result in PHP object which we have store under dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar array variable is equal to gender and number in array format. Here we have defined two index in array. This is for pie chart. 
in gender we will store male or female and in number we will store total number of male or female employee details. Below this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar data variable as dollar key variable with dollar value variable. So by using this loop we can fetch data from this dollar data variable. Under this loop we have write dollar array variable and under index we have write dollar key variable value increment by 1 is equal to array. In first gender index we have write dollar value variable with gender table column and in second number table column we have write dollar value variable with number variable. So this way it will store employee gender data under this dollar array variable. Lastly in this method we have write return statement with view method and under this method we have write google pie chart. This method will load Google Pie Chart.blade.php file. Here we have add with method with two argument. In first argument we have write gender and in second argument we have write JSON encode function with dollar array variable in which we have store gender data in array format. This function will convert PHP array data into JSON string format and this data we can access by this gender variable in Google Pie Chart.blade.php file by using this with method. Chart. Now we have going to resources folder and open views folder and open Laravel Google chart.blade.php file and in this file we have already included Google chart library link and bootstrap library link. Under this page here we have write division tag with id is equal to pie chart. Under this tag we will display gender data under pie chart by using Google chart library. Now we have moved to write JavaScript code for Google chart library. So here we have write analytics variable is equal to echo statement with dollar gender variable. So here we have store index method gender data under this analytics variable. Then after we have write this Google chart library JavaScript code, here first argument like google.charts.load is the version name or number, as a string and here we have write current that specify the latest official release of Google charts to be loaded. After this we have write packages core chart that specify we can use bar, column, line, area, stepped area, bubble, pie, donut, combo, candlestick, histogram, scatter chart on this page. Below this we have write google.charts.set on load callback function drawback. This code is specify once the packages have been loaded then after this draw chart function has been called. Here draw chart is function which we will make for draw pie chart. Now we have to define draw chart function. So for this we have write function with name draw chart. Under this function we will load data which we have store under analytics variable and make pie chart on that data under this function. Under this function we have write data variable is equal to google.visualization.array to data table method. Here google chart tools chart require data to be wrapped in a javascript class. Under this method we have write analytics variable in which we have store employee gender data in JSON string format. 
This will populate gender data on pie chart. Now we have write variable option is equal to open and close bracket and between this bracket we have write title with text like percentage of male and female employee. This will print this title above the pie chart. After this we have write variable chart is equal to new google.visualization.pie chart method. This method will load pie chart library from Google chart library. Under this method we want to define element ID on which you want to load pie chart. So here we have write document dot get element by ID with element ID pie chart. This way we have set element on which you want to load pie chart. And lastly we have write chart variable dot draw function with two argument. In first argument we have write data variable and in second argument we have write options variable. This will print pie chart on specified element on web page. Now our code is ready for making pie chart. So now we want to set root for index method of Laravel Google Graph Controller for this we have go to roots folder web.php. Here we have write root class with get method with two argument. In first argument we have write slash Laravel Google chart URL and in second argument we have write Laravel Google Graph at index method. So when in browser we have write base URL of our application slash Laravel Google chart URL then it will called index method of Laravel Google graph controller. So here our code is ready so now we have check output in browser. Friends here we have write base URL of our Laravel application slash Laravel Google chart then it has called index method which load Google pie chart dot blade dot PHP page in browser. Here we can see pie chart on web page. This pie chart has been generated by using Google pie chart library. From this chart we can easily understand how many percentage of male and female employee work in origination. So chart or graph is visualization of dynamic data and this we have done Laravel framework by using Google pie chart library. For this pie chart in Laravel by using Google chart library first we have fetched data from MySQL database and convert that data into PHP array format and after this we have convert into JSON string and then after send to view file. On view file by using Google chart library we have converted data into graphical format into pie chart so we can easily understand what data has been telling. So this are simple step for make pie chart in Laravel by using Google chart library. If you have any query regarding this Laravel video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our Laravel video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.